turn them off. What's that? I turn them off. Yeah. Just got everything loaded up behind me this morning. Taken off for Nevada, I actually drew a 221 through 223 early rifle elk tag. As a non-resident, I had less than 1% chance to draw this tag. This is my ninth year drawing. This is why I love the tag system. You never know when you're gonna get applied for an awesome tag. This is probably one of the, if not the best elk tag in the state of Nevada. So got a day of travel day, get out there for the opener tomorrow. Not only that, I've got a one, well, I'm gonna flip this camera around real quick. I've got a pretty sweet one. I'm bringing my new Nexus Gunworks rifle with me. It's in a 300 PRC. Looking forward to getting this out in the field. I shot it at the range this week. Obviously a tack driver. Off to the airport. Tonight we'll be chilling in a camper in the high mountains of the Nevada desert, getting ready for elk opener tomorrow morning. Dang, I'm excited. This brown. Cozy. So be cozy it is. Hey Sergio. Good, how you doing? Have you seen anything while you've been out here? Lots of bulls. Okay. We'll see bulls every morning, every evening. It's just okay. a matter of sifting through them and are they up high? I don't the know. Bottom to the top. Okay. Yeah. All right. Much activity at night or mostly in the morning? Mostly the morning. Mostly the morning. They'll be in the ag all night and then and they move. Try to catch them somewhere. Yeah, it's all wide open on that side, so they cross the highway and get into the thick trees over here. Gotcha. Right. Cool. I'll only need to get into there maybe once or twice through the whole hunt. What time do you want to take off in the morning? Uh, we'll leave here at 4.30. Okay. It's shooting light at 5.30ish. Okay. 5.30 to 5.45. They could be anywhere from right at the base of the hill all the way out. Well, first morning in Nevada here, we had a long day of travel, got into the campsite late last night. And the reason we're here, because I drew one of the best elk tags that there are using WTA tag service. This is a 221 through 223 early rifle season elk tag. A lot of people say it's probably the best one that you can draw in Nevada. One of the top ones in all the West. And here we are. Couldn't film anything on the way in just because we got in so late. First light here this morning. We're up high on a glassing knob, kind of look at overlooking these meadows. We're going to spend the first couple hours here just glassing this and then bounce, get up high on another spot and glass. But man, this is my first time hunting this part of Nevada. Just first glance, looks awesome. Bunch of sage country, rolling hills, mountains in the background, and the land of big elk. Now I can't wait to see one of those. Got up high for our afternoon sit today. Right across, there's a whole bunch of egg circles actually with some alfalfa and stuff. So what happens is the elk only eat out there during the night and they're basically in the brush by the time it gets light and they don't leave here until it gets dark, which is pretty smart by this time of the year after they've been hunted. So we got up really high. We're just gonna glass in some of these drainages, see if we can't find one or two of them that are bedded. If not, that last hour, Sergio says they tend to get up and start milling around before it gets dark and they head out. It is super windy up here. We got the wind in our face, the main area we're glass and this way and the wind's coming here so it's perfect i'm not going to bugger anything out there hopefully we can catch one in its bed
to a different part of the unit this morning, probably about 15, 20 miles away from where we were yesterday. Drove in the dark, got up here, really high glassing knob where we're at right now, and basically 360 around us. You can glass. As you can tell, it's super windy. Actually had a little bit of hail come on us a couple minutes ago too. Hopefully it's cold, gets those up moving a little bit. It'll be a cold sit here. But again, you can just see for miles in every direction. started this morning up high on a peak that we could basically glass 180 down below where all these egg circles are trying to catch some of the elk coming back into the thick before they bed down we actually just saw a group of cows work below us so it's pretty cool seeing the first elk of the trip we're just going to stay here for a couple hours and glass as they kind of work their way slowly through here and find where they're going to bed for the day just trying to catch glimpses of them moving in between here bouncing to different areas in this unit, trying a different one out tonight. We've got a water tank off over here and there's a bunch of these fields that they've cleaned all the trees out of and have uh, this grass growing for all the animals in the area down low. So we're kind of on a, a glassing knob here. We can see the water, see that. And there's some of these deep canyons that hopefully some bulls are gonna feed out of later tonight. Now, as cold as it was this morning, right? It was super cold, it warmed up like crazy this afternoon. It's gonna get cold again tonight, colder. So hopefully that's gonna drive something out the last hour of daylight here as it gets closer to dark. Far is he out there? So you see this deepest, biggest cove? Yep, yep. You get to the far left of the cove, uh -huh. and then you start going around the right side, and he's on that first little swooping curve. Oh, I see him now. Mm -hmm. You can see the the frame. You can't make out timely. And this time of year, they stick pretty close to where they're at at night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he'll feed his way down. Uh -huh. And then in the morning, he'll likely go back in somewhere along that tree line. Sergio spotted right at last light here. Looks to be a big mature bull. And it is a poke where he spotted this at down there. It's just coming out and feeding on some of this area that they've opened up and planted grasses in and it's coming out there. So in the morning, we'll see which way the wind's going and 
go down there and have the wind in our face and get on them. So just as this time of year, they generally pretty routine. So he'll be in the same vicinity tomorrow, fingers crossed. So we just parked the truck here this morning down in the valley floor. Last night we spotted a bull from up on the ridge out here in these uh, BLM chainings. And we're gonna slip to the east here and go through a big patch of cedar trees as cover and poke out the other side and hope the bull we spotted last night is out in the clearing there feeding. And if he is, we'll be able to get a shot off on him. And if not, it means he hit the cedar trees before daylight and we'll be back in the evening set up waiting for him to step back out where he did last night. You guys on him? We're on. Here we go. You go down? He's hit, jumped, and went to the right, and I don't see him anymore. Oh man. He came out in almost the exact same spot that he was yesterday. Just where it was the elevation. I couldn't get high enough off the bipod, off the backpack, so I had to improvise and go to the tree just to get up. I was bouncing a little bit, but shot still felt good. Man. Yep. And then work it looking for him and hook into where you shot him. Okay. There he is. Oh, awesome. He went straight down. So 
Sergio spotted this bull last night in the same little cove. We tried it this morning and I think he went in the timber just before light and missed him. So our plan was to come back after him tonight and he did the same exact thing he did yesterday, just popping out right at that last light. Thank you, Sergio. You're welcome. Well, here he is. We got him pulled out of that thick pile of brush. And this is the exact reason why you guys got to apply to tags in the West. This is a 221 through 223 elk tag in Nevada. And I've been applying for nine years and how they do it. So I had 81 chances, as you would say, in the hat here. That's less than 1% chance of drawing as a non-resident. But yet yeah, I drew. That's why I encourage you got to check out WTA tags. That's why you got to keep applying. You never know when you're going to get drawn out of the hat, go on a heck of a hunt just like this. Sergio worked his tail off here and we're able to get a great bull at the end of the hunt. And this is my first time hunting Nevada. I hope I draw this tag again and get to come back. What are you carrying, Ted? Loins. <laughs> you got the loins. The loins and him and I will take turns with the rack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>